And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Esper Control. I know a lot of people have been waiting to see some Esper Control, so here we go. This list was a 5-0 list from Magic Online. Those results that were posted. This is 5-0 Friday, and that's what these last three decks that we have. These are all 5-0 lists. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in here, and I think that Esper Control is probably just, just a good solid deck uh, I, I like how we have like three atreus i really like this card of course dream trawler is a great finisher at the top end i'm good i'm pretty curious to try metamize prophecy you know i've seen a lot of people play omen of the sea this list had four metamize prophecies instead um with how with how proactive it is and like how much uh you know like we're going to be like you know like we're not going to be like holding up counter magic all the time you know, like we're going to be proactive playing stuff during our turn it makes that third chapter a lot easier to hit you know we can say narset or teferi or atreus or things like that and we know that we're going to be playing it drawn too so this will be interesting to try out this is my first time actually playing at metamize prophecy um and then yeah we have our six discard spells which I, i've been really impressed with both remorse and thought erasure like in this format people just don't run out of cards so i've been really impressed with both of those cards uh and um using a lot of them our mana base, we got 24 duels, just got all 24 duels, and then two basics, an island and a swamp. <laughs> that's, that's what we got. Um, so here we go. So let's let's give this a try. Let's see how it does. Some good old Espa control. All right, we're going to play four matches in ranked. Time considerations. Yeah, I I mean you you can play four dream trawlers. Uh sure, I mean dream trawler is awesome. You could play four dream trawler. Um I think two's probably fine also. I don't like I don't dislike four dream trawlers, but I don't, I don't know if it's uh better than, you know, splitting up your stuff with like Ashiox and dream trawlers and Hmm. So we're going to take the Brineborn Cutthroat, which is going to be like their only creature that's a threat. Card's kind of too strong not to play, or not to have, even though I want land. See, like, the Narset gets countered, and then presumably the other Narset gets countered, and then maybe we can resolve to Fairy, maybe? Cali Commuter! Thanks for keeping that tier 1 sub going. Countering all my stuff. Where are my high boats? There's my high boats. Shock resolves. There is little the shadows awaken. We finally got something to, to resolve. Hank, what do you think about a Jund escape deck? Well, I really like Phoenix and I like Croxa. So you could have Phoenix and Croxa and then do like some self milling and stuff. 
I like it. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Ashiok, taking over. Just gotta resolve something. So, Veto. Thief. So, I don't need Elspeth Conqueror's Death, and I don't need to spark. Then, even Atreus. You know, cost four. I think I want to try some thieves instead of some Atreus. Maybe instead of Dream Trawler? Maybe just take out Dream Trawler. We'll cut one Dream Trawler, one Atreus, and play thieves there. Okay. Shock. Getting the gifted sub. Welcome, welcome to the channel, Shock. It's number nineteen. Hasn't been great drawing only only shock land so far. That's right, we got sub battle Saturday tomorrow to all the new subs. All right, I need to draw Dovin's Veto. I just have to try it. Gotta hope they only had Quench. Okay. So we're at least not dead yet. Right on schedule. Don't worry. I got this. Not yet at least. Wow, okay. Just the Teferi. Just shut him down. No carbon required. Don't need none of that carbon. All right, oh y'all, a 12 hour stream.
the white crayon and 619 keeping this hype boat train going hmm that doesn't work I want both of these cards <laughs> the hype boats are out Oh, that's not good. Um, this is not good. set I, mean, I do need more white mana but it's you know shock land but that's just how it is should have said narset instead of minimize prophecy Oven. Yeah, I'm dead. Let's go on to the next game. All right, so some devout decrees, spy glasses, Kaya, another Kaya's wrath. They don't have very many rats in here. Okay. If we play all these, what are we taking out? Like, I don't love, you know, like Narset to Fairy. Cards are pretty slow. Six discard spells. Prophecy slow. Hmm. Don't like my chances here. Like my chances here. So playing the list for the first time, looks like looks like like this deck could use some more help against aggro.
Definitely looks like there could be some better stuff against aggro in here. Try that again. I dare you. That's well, nice getting uh, Woe Strider out of there. Now if they attack Kaya, we get to have the Othakaya trigger. Mm. Well, that's not good. I felt pretty good about the game just a little bit ago. Whoa. <laughs> that one actually got through. Coolios. Thank you, Boo. Jojo Skull, false it. Be surprised if we win this. Oh man. Anyone need a fire started? Oh, they're so cute. Priest just annihilated me. Just annihilated me. With Woe Striders and Chandras. But yeah, like the, the just having two Kaios Wraths and in, in the main and one more in the sideboard. Not enough, not enough early removal and stuff like that too. That aggro matchup felt really bad. Which Esper, of course, has has the tools to to be good against aggro if it wants to be.
Torbrand may kill me. <laughs> so if I get to... Let me tell you, so if I get to battle Todd tomorrow, I'm bringing my brew special. I call it Hactose Intolerant. Yeah, this this deck does not seem good enough against aggro. Basically, I think these like these Thieves Sanities probably need to be some more anti-aggro cards. This looks like a control deck built to beat other control decks. Um. Okay. Yeah, if you're casting a big expansion explosion like that, Crixus, always target your opponent. Whenever you have, whenever you think you're gonna have lethal on the opponent with expansion explosion, always target them with the draw. You don't, yeah. Don't target yourself with the draw. <laughs> How do we deal with any of this stuff? I liked this list on paper a lot more. Before we started playing the games with it. I am not going to sit this way. Here we go. Finally drew a wrath against Agro.
Right, I should just cast that on their turn. I've got time. Yep. I mean, I don't think we're gonna win that at one life. But I could have cast that on their turn. All right, one more match. But yeah, like this mana base of every single land being a shock land or a temple, I've not liked it. Their hand is horrible. That doesn't mean that we're going to win. Basically, I decided that I can Oath Akaya this Annex. One time we drew a basic to not take damage, it doesn't matter. Kaya this. <laughs> Fear your failure. Terra lurks among us. If I had six mana, then I would have gone to Fairy, bounced my Oath of Kaya, then Oath of Kaya, and kept the other one in hand. prophecy yeah that that was not a good hand that they kept just tour brands and ember cleaves Maybe I need to bring in another Despark. Despark only hits Torbrand and Embercleave, but could be better than some of the stuff that we got. Someone at your pre-release had two dream trawlers. Yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty difficult to beat at a pre-release.
I'm getting the Oath of Kaya down first so that whenever I play the Planeswalkers like the Kaya and the Teferi, then they... Um, then if they attack said Planeswalkers, I gain life. That hurts. I wanted to get rid of the Leyline of Combustion this turn. Wow. Ugh, this is all just really annoying. Can't double spell. You show remorse. I'll show the straight. Trust me, I have a plan. I went with the Teferi draw card to try to You know, see if we if we hit a land, you know, we want to put it into play tapped because all of our lands come into play tapped. I don't have any good plays besides casting Kai's Wrath, which we don't have. I'm dead if I Oath of Kaya, the Annex, I'm, I'm just dead. Dispark only had one target, the Ley Line. Dispark couldn't hit any of the creatures. Yeah, this... I was, ex I was excited about this list before actually playing it, after playing this list. Oh, this seems so rough against red. Seems like it has a lot of good tools against everything else, but these red decks, like Mono Red and Rakdos, I, I don't really know how this is winning. What is it missing? One, it's missing a, like it, it needs to change the mana base. It's too many, too many tap lands and shock lands. Like, that's one. Two, it's too slow. Like Menomai's Prophecy, Narset. Menomai Prophecy and Narset are both just too slow. Uh, two, there's, that's, that's two. Three, we don't have enough Wraths. Is three. And then four, we don't have enough cheap removal. Our cards are too expensive. So put all that together and we have no shot. And that's how you, what you've seen in these games. We have no shot. Like Esper is supposed to be good against like this should like these should be good matchups for Esper, but just how this list is put together, I, I have no shot. Thanks, Rex. Thanks for keeping on that nine month streak. All right, so uh, after playing the games, let's see. 
This doesn't mean... Thanks, uh, Luha Dex. I think Esper Control has a lot of good stuff, and I think Esper Control is a good deck. I have to say I, I really didn't like this list at all. Though, so I wouldn't recommend this specific Esper Control list. Um, like I say, problems... That mana base is just way too many tap... Like, I, I hated that mana base. Uh, you need less less tap lands, maybe get a couple castles also. Um... Minimize Prophecy, you know, I said that I was interested in trying this card out. I didn't like it really at all. It was, just, it was just really too slow. I think that this deck was probably going to be pretty good against other control decks and against Simic and stuff like that with all these Narsets and Prophecy and stuff. But against Aggro, it needed like a lot more help in the sideboard, at least against Aggro or something. Because there's not... If you look at two mana removal, we have one Tyrant Scorn. That's not, that's not acceptable. Like you need a lot of two mana removal or cheap, you know, one and two mana removal, and you need more than two Kaya's Wraths and a third one over here, three Kaya's Wraths. You know, there needs to be more sweepers, you know, like even, yeah, like Cry of the Cranarium, stuff like that. It's just too expensive. Um, uh, yeah, like, so, I mean, Esper has all the tools to beat aggro, and usually. Usually, like, playing a red deck, like, you want to face Esper the least. Like, usually that's your worst matchup. This specific list just didn't, didn't, it really didn't try to beat Aggro at all. Um, and so we saw, we saw how the games played out there. All right, but there we go. So there's Esper Control. Um... You know, we'll, we'll try a different version of Esper Control later on. For those of y'all watching on YouTube, if you're playing Esper Control and you're having a lot of success, feel free to link your list in the chat if you uh, have an Esper Control list that you really, really like. Um, like I said, I liked how this looked on paper first before playing it, but playing it, I was not too impressed. All right, that's Esper Control, though. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.